I want to do something a little different for December. I want to offer you guys the opportunity to ask me almost anything. What I'm going to try to do is answer one or two questions a day for the month. So all you have to do is leave a question down below. Keep your questions rather general. If you had a question that you wanted to get answered, leave it down below and maybe I can answer it. Hey, yo, this is Dash. <laughs> Get ready. Hey, yo, this is Dash, and here we go with another response. This one probably won't be so quick on one of the Ask Dash questions. So this one comes today from the YouTube channel Smoke Bark. The person says, you should do more questions per video. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. This whole thing is a work in progress. Maybe you're right. I'm trying to do better though, we'll figure it out. But his question is, what are your plans for barbecue in the next five years? Do you plan on leaving your garage and doing more cooks or are you comfortable where you are? And I filmed a video earlier today talking about being in my comfort range, you know, and I am very comfortable where I am and with what I am doing. The thing is, even in my comfort range or being in my comfort range or at my comfort level, I am accepting bigger jobs. I am accepting more jobs. I am having people contact me to, to, to do different things more frequently. And I'm being pushed out of my comfort zone, my comfort level. Now, it might not seem the same for you guys, and the reason why it doesn't necessarily seem the same for you guys is because I don't always film everything that I cook. So there are plenty of cooks that I do and take care of and get handled without you guys even know, no wing. So I am getting busier in doing the barbecue. It's just, there are times when I need to focus on getting something done. Once it gets done, I deliver it, I'm done. That's it, okay? As opposed to me having to kinda go get the food or figure out how I'm gonna creatively open up a video or figure out how I'm gonna creatively season something or figure out how I'm gonna creatively put something into a smoker or figure out how I'm gonna creatively do something to change up the video so it's not the same exact thing every single time. So that is why a lot of times the, the progression you guys see might be here, but the progression that's actually happening is here. Now, as far as five years down the line, dude, I don't even know what I'm doing next week. I do know what I'm doing next week. I actually have a friend that hit me up and he wants me to do a whole brisket for him next week. But aside from that, I try not to plan too, too far out in advance because the problem is when I plan something, something else comes up. And I don't wanna to have to make the choice between doing this thing that might go through or doing this thing that I know I can do because it's, it, you know, I, I, I try to be more fluid with that. That being said, I can't necessarily say what I wanna do in five years, okay? I don't, I don't have that plan. I don't plan or I haven't planned that far in advance. But I can tell you that I would like to have, you know, move out of my garage. And I will, t I, I will tell you that I actually have a friend in real estate and I asked him to start looking into properties. Again, this is one of those things where I'm not saying this for you guys to keep asking me, hey, what's going on with that? I'm saying this because I'm, I'm, I'm scratching the surface. Just like when I went and looked at that food truck, I didn't know what I was getting into with a food truck. So when I happened to drive past that truck and I called the person up, it wasn't to say, hey, I'm looking at this food truck. I'm thinking about buying it like right now today. No. And I said that in the video, but that doesn't stop people, hasn't stopped people from saying, hey, whatever happened with that food truck? Did you get it? My intention was to never get that food. I, I'm In the beginning of that video, I said, this is a fact finding mission. 
I want to get educated on the things that I need to have, on the things that I need to do, and I can't do that if I don't step foot into a truck. I can't find out how I can cook in a commercial space if I don't set foot in a commercial space. So I'm answering this question to tell you that though I might not necessarily talk about it, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not something that's in the works. I, 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 it's crazy that I am getting to the point where I feel like I'm keeping secrets from you guys. You guys have been with me for a while. Majority of you guys who've been with me for a year or two years, three years, following along with this journey of me doing catering and doing YouTube and living my life basically by doing barbecue, I feel like I'm holding out. But the problem is I can't share everything with you guys because I don't wanna disappoint you guys if something doesn't go 100% according to plan. So. Full circle, I don't always plan because something can derail that plan and get in the way of that plan. And it's just, sometimes it's, it's, it's say easier. It, I sleep better, let's put it that way, by not telling you guys something and then everyone or people having a problem with the fact that I didn't follow through with something, or I didn't finish something, or if I didn't get this property, or if I didn't get this this truck, okay? My plans, I would love to say I would love to get a trailer. I would love to say I would love to get a truck. I would love to say I would love to get a brick and mortar. But all three of those things, there's there's hurdles, there's, there's, there's rungs on the ladder I have to step up and get past first. And I'm still in the I'm barely, you know, I can still touch the ground if I need to phase. So at this point, I'm taking my time. I'm taking things slowly. I don't want to rush things. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. And I'll see you in the next one.